Hey guys, what's up? It's becoming from GNA today. So I'm going to show you how to disassemble the Ruger Precision Rimfire. So first thing is to check to, for sure to make sure that you're empty. So you want to make sure that you are set to safe. If you haven't cocked this back, then the safe will not go on. So you'll have to do that next. But uh, next we're going to take out the magazine. I've already taken out. There's none. Bring the bolt back to the rear and then physically inspect the chamber. Look in it. See that it's not there. Put your finger there. Make sure and feel that there's no rounds in the chamber. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pull the bolt out. Just push this button right here. The bolt pulls right out. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to loosen off these two bedding screws right here. Okay, these two bedding screws are 8-inch hex head. The shorter one is the one that goes on the front. The longer one is the one in the rear. From there, the... The top half, the upper receiver and the lower receiver basically will pull apart. It does have to pull past this little plastic piece. So it may be better to take that off first. And the way you do that is just by flexing these two little pieces, these two little legs right here. And then that'll pull that loose where you don't have to worry about that. But of course this is the polymer chassis. And so then it brings it down to this point very easily. And this really is where Ruger says to, to take it down if you really want to do any cleaning. But you can pull the trigger off relatively easy. So all you have to do is on the trigger, there's this little pin that's being pushed down by the spring right here, and it's riding in this J channel. So all you do is you push up, and it does take a little bit of force, and let it ride down into that J channel. To the well, If you look at it as a J, it's going to ride up to the top of the J. And you're taking pressure off of this cocking piece guide as what they call it. So what you have to do now is to get something and push down on this piece right here. This has to be pushed down. It's what's keeping this from, from sliding back because it rides in there very, very tightly. See, I just pushed that down and again, there, there's nothing holding it. It's just that this spring is pretty stout. So you've got to push that down far enough to get it disengaged from the receiver here. And once you get that pushed down, then you can slide the trigger assembly back. You've got to get that thing fully out. And then from there, trigger assembly will pull out. Now, what I had happen to me the other day is this piece, the cocking piece guide, there's these little legs that are these little tabs, I guess, that kind of come up and wrap around this little piece on the, on the housing. There's a a little piece here where this wraps around it and what had happened is it came so far back Let's see if I can get it to do it yeah just like that see it came back so far that these weren't riding on these little pieces right here and it it shot up and scared me because I thought other stuff had left but this is it it's just this spring that rides down in there and then this has to go on top of it. So if that happens, just take it, push it back down, and let it catch back up on those little those little rails right there. And then if you want to take the handguard off, it's easy. There's just these two screws. These are 964 hex head. And I've already kind of loosened a little bit here. Manual says not to take them all the way out, but it just loosens off the, the tension there. And then it just slides right off of the barrel nut. Of course, being careful not to scratch your barrel up. And that right there fits exactly on that barrel nut and it just broke it, broke it loose right away. There's the receiver. Then when you go to put the handguard back on, there's a place right here on the handguard that indexes into the front of this scope rail base right here. And I don't see any torque specs from Ruger on this. So just tighten it down. Don't over tighten it. There's no reason to. It's not, not holding the action or anything of the rifle. It's going to snug it down pretty good. Not going crazy there. The hardest part is getting this trigger assembly back on. Uh, it's keeping this thing depressed while you get in there. So this little, this little, where it kind of juts out here and here. You have to fit this up. You'll see how it keys into the receiver. So you're going to push that up while holding this down and then slide it in place. And then this is going to clip up into the section. So you can see right there how it's got a key into the receiver. There's a keyhole cut there, keyhole cut there for this and this. 
and you can see how this has to be depressed to allow it to go into place. Got that depressed, putting that down into the key area. Okay, that's all the way forward now. So what I'm doing is just trying to straighten this up to get it to go up into place. As you try to push this back up into the receiver now, it fits in very tightly. So sometimes I just get a screwdriver and kind of put it between here and just kind of not going crazy or anything, but just pushing up a little bit. Doesn't look like it. There's a gap here, but it's hitting it's hitting on the back of the receiver right here, and it's it's square like this, parallel to the bottom of the receiver. So that's up that's as far up as it goes. Now from here, what you're gonna do is to remember to take this and push it back up into the top of that J channel. Let it clip down into that. Then when you put it back together, this little notch right here in the trigger mechanism is where the safety rides up in. So what has to happen is when you put this back into the lower receiver, this side of the trigger mechanism has to slide right next to the coil of this spring for the safety. If the safety spring happens to get out of place, which it does very easily, I found a relatively easy way to deal with it. And what you have to do is you have to push this leg down and then push the safety over the top of that leg being pushed down. And that's, that's easier said than done. That is a chore. So I found a way to kind of help make that a lot easier. Just get a pencil eraser and just, just shove the long leg of this spring into the eraser. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and do it like that. Where that bent leg you can see is down in that little pocket and I'm holding this down and that eraser is holding it down for me and I can pretty much control what I need to. Otherwise, it tries to slip up and out. <clears throat> and if you still have this little piece on right here, you'll have to kind of slip the, the upper up underneath this. But if you just have this off, then it should just slide right down into place. As I look down in there, I can see that the coils on that safety spring are to the left of my trigger mechanism there. All right, on your bedding screws, small one up front, closest to the muzzle, long one in the back, closest to the buttstock, and then say to put it back at 35 inch pounds. That's it. It's becoming from GNA Day. Thanks for watching.